and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for my favorite rank up deck right now. We're bringing back Burn Aggro. Uh, this is, you know, like this is a deck that we're going to be playing just every couple of days just because this is my favorite deck to play. It's, you know, I built it uh, specifically to fight the control decks, you know, like your uh, Ezreal and Karina control and stuff like that. Um, you know, the decks that are that are really good at killing all of your units. And so uh, we're playing it in aggressive decks so we can get ahead, but we also want to have a lot of direct damage to help finish the games off. Uh, so as you know, we have that's what the deck's really built around. You know, so we have so many spells in here, including three decimates that's just trying to do damage. We even have like uh, Chump Pump getting us Mushroom Clouds and Teemo giving them uh, Puff Caps. So we can try to give them a good amount of Puff Caps to do the, the damage with the Puff Caps as well. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's red deck wins here. Uh, but you know, like some, some versions of this deck, you know, play like arena battle caster and try to go wide. And, and that has been good in the past, but I don't think that's where we should be right now. Like with, uh, basically ever since, uh, what's the name of the card? The five mana, um, make three spiders card since like, since that turn from six mana to five mana. And now that that card's kind of everywhere, going wide is really tough so because people are playing that and then other people are playing withering whale and static shock to fight that and then just going wide is is pretty difficult so instead we're trying to just burn face so here we go let's rank up with some burn aggro oh i also wanted to to mention for those y'all watch if you watch this video later on youtube and you wonder why we weren't doing our 12 hour stream today it was supposed to be today but i had technical difficulties getting the resident evil 3 set up and everything getting my xbox controller on my pc to work and uh through the bluetooth and all sorts of stuff um figured out i actually needed an antenna and uh and then we got said antenna. And then, so then I had to go find an antenna for this and everything. And But it's all working and everything now. We're going to be doing that tomorrow, pushing that back. And we're going to start Resident Evil 3 right away at 11 Eastern, um, 11 a.m. Eastern. And uh, we'll play that right away. And we're going to play through the entire game. And so we'll have it a really nice long YouTube video, you know, like a however long the game takes us YouTube video where you can uh, watch through the entire gameplay and everything. So if you don't want to don't want to spend the money on the game, you can watch watch us play through the whole game. And if you want to be in chat and interact with us and help help us solve the puzzles and things like that, of course I'm ready. that'd be good too. So that'll start at 11 Eastern. Yeah, never know what hit him. Let's make it deep. No one's the wiser. We've got our other rookie out here too. Looks like they have thermogenic beam, that's my guess. Okay, maybe not. So they're playing use cast salesman to try to play defense, but that just, you know, it kind of helps my game plan. Uh, do as much damage as possible to them. But this, this is like the new tech that some people are putting in this Ezreal deck, which all it does is just help my game plan even more. They already had nine. We got a couple decimates. Reporting in. Hey, Ninja Dad. That's a cool emote. That Brom saying hi, that's a cool emote. All right, so they won't have denied this this turn. Sure about that? Gotcha. So 
So we'll put him down to three. <clears throat> I hope they don't have health potion. You know, they, they can't have health potion. A lot of a lot of people playing this deck play like two health potions. Got our first sub of the day. Karandras getting a gifted sub. Thank you so much there, Kitty Dexterity. It's Draven time. Honestly, I should probably just pass there. We don't like have to play the Draven and just see if they Yeah, cause see if they played Karma, then I would have decimated. So I should have just passed. Awesome, got us up. First sub of the day. So yeah, that, that should have been my play. I'm in. Just to pass. Because I'm not... Basically, I wasn't casting the Decimate because of Deny. I wanted them to tap under Deny Mana. But like you know, Karma was a pretty, a pretty likely card for them to cast with the five mana, and me not attacking. All right, so that should likely be game. I have my order. That's likely them playing this Mystic Shot. Tapped out. Awesome. That's why we got lots of direct damage. You know, we already played one Decimate. We're playing another now. All this direct damage. Getting in damage with the creatures is not reliable. Especially the last few points. Oh. I guess that's my quest today. Play three champions for my Onia or PNZ. Yep, there we go. Quick and clean. Alright, so it looks like the standalone deck. This is good, most likely a tough matchup. I'll be... I'll be kind of surprised if we get this one. Um, mulligan those expensive cards. This deck's pretty good, this standalone deck, and we're not really stopping them. Like they're gonna play like, you know, turn three, they'll play their three drop and then standalone it and then rally and then I lose. If like, if they have like that combination of cards. Best case scenario is they don't have standalone. That's best case scenario. They just don't have standalone. But you know, it's it's not like you get standalone every single game, even though you mul you know you really mulligan for it. First big mission. Full speed ahead. Huh? Maybe this isn't a standalone deck. I'll do better this time. Where are you going? No, definitely standalone. Timo's a good draw. That can be a chump block for us. can help out. Hmm. 
Why can't you be a 4 4 jump lump? Why can't you do two damage? Just uses my mana so much better to do this than just play a chump blocking Teemo. Yeah, why can't Teemo be a 10 10? Exactly. Dang, their hand was good. Okay, ready. Rich green. Cut the breath from them. Alright, so this is me doing six damage. Seven damage, six damage. Three damage. Give them these mushroom clouds. Let's see. Four, five. It's basically given the mushroom clouds or have the mana for Blade's Edge. Like, which which one do we want to do? Okay, good. Am I doing the seven? How are we getting seven points of damage across here? Yeah, so we're going to kill the Teemo. And then... So that means... I guess that means I'm playing, casting this Decimate right now. Rally! No! Boo. 
that's what we get for betraying Timo. <laughs> Man, that was that was close. That was close. Like our like we I think we like we would have been pretty good because basically we were gonna be able to use our, our six mana card to do three damage to the five five the next turn and then attack with Draven first where they have to block you know like where they'd have to block Draven. I don't know, it would have been would have been tough. Uh, we'll keep the two drop. I wanna keep the three drop also. I definitely want a one mana card. So this is three mana, three two plus they take two, ETB. No, we'll ship it. Dang. Nope. No one drops. Just a bunch of twos. And unfortunately... There's a one drop. Unfortunately... I'm not attacking on turn three with Draven. When you have, you know, you really want to be attacking round three when you got Draven. Because uh, you can only play six champions, and I want, I want Teemos, and so we have, we have Teemo and Draven. So, so I don't, don't have any Jinxes. So it is a limit. Alright, with them playing that, I'm going to play the 2-1 drops. I probably would have played the other 2 drop. No, it would have been better to play the 2-1 drops. Anyway. You cannot escape. It's too late for you. Do I discard a Whirling Death to do one point of damage? So let's see, this is them going down to 11, so then this would be 10. We have five here. No. Thanks, Eric. Thank you so much. You can have fun, have fun cooking dinner. Get out of here, Ez. No way. <laughs> so they don't have Yone mana yet. So what would be the problem with playing Chumplump and Grenadier before combat and attacking? So they can't Yone. I don't think there's two... Too much problem. Like, sure, like they play their own chump lump, but like that just trades, so like it's the same thing. I think it's probably better because, like, they're probably, yeah, like they're gonna be wanting to use spells. It's a good assumption. Well, like, I, I have my deck tailored a little bit more for Teemo um, because I think that the, the, the direct damage is really important. And so, you know, I, I am playing Chump Lumps to get these Mushroom Clouds to help Teemo uh, level up. And, you know, I, I, so I do value the the damage. But, yes, yeah, so that the aggro versus aggro matchup is where Teemo's at, at its worst. But also, I just don't think there's that much aggro around right now. Like, I think the, 
the best and most popular decks are, are these kind of control decks. Um, and I think Teemo can... I think Teemo's good there. Okay, so they're taking... They're going down to five. I like Mushroom Clouds, but basically we're turning this Mushroom Cloud into a guaranteed one point of damage. So they're at four, and we have, you know, like these two Grenadiers, with them being at four. And maybe they'll draw some more Mushrooms. Deathmate's not bad either. So again, they have Deny and, like... They probably have like two deny and they probably have two health potions. So those are the two cards that we gotta watch out for. So right now it's just health potion, not deny. So we'll go ahead and cast this. Opponent surrendered. Two and one. GG's. Unlocked. Get another chest. Diamond chest. Let's go. <laughs> Mushroom cloud. It's like the only card I don't have. Oh, I guess I don't have rising spell force either. Oh, really? You hate aggro burn so much? I, I like it. I think it, and I, I do think it's in a good good spot. As you see, like we're two zero against the Karma Ezreal deck, and I think Karma Ezreal is pretty popular, and so like that's why that's why I'm playing the the specific list that I'm playing. And, like I built this specifically for the control decks, all these Ezreal decks, and the Karina decks, and stuff like that. That's specifically why I wanted to put together this. Uh, that's yeah, that's why I put together this version. <clears throat> All right, Clutch McDuff, what you got? What you got for me, Clutch McDuff? Get excited, kills, Ash. So I think we have to keep it, even though we don't have... Don't really have anything to discard right now. And this isn't this isn't a deck where we usually have good things to discard. We basically want Get Excited more of, more of as a, a late game card that we draw into. Draven's good because that, you know, Draven gives us that spinning axe. So that gives us that good discard card. So our Legion Saboteur is going to trade, because I am playing both of these. Saboteur will just trade with Omen Hawk. It's just the way it is. And then we'll be sitting on threes. Uh, I should have played Saboteur first. Big mistake. Should have played Saboteur first. Okay, ready. That's a that was a huge mistake there that I just had. If it's a fight they want. They got past me. That was my plan to do that too. I just kinda played the Teemo, not not really thinking. And it's, it's okay if I don't use this mana if they just pass. Because uh, I would have it for Get Excited. One mana 
a 3 3. I was planning on going straight to Draven attack until we drew Teemo. Pretty great hand. Yeah, they've had a really great hand. They don't like Teemo very much. I know, you know, obviously for me, I would love to save Teemo. But I feel like killing Ash is too important. Let's do this. I'll protect the villages. They have like elixir of iron also. I was gonna say. This would be a good time to draw augmented experimenter. So if we draw our third Teemo, it will be leveled up. Stand together. Good job, Puff Caps. Put them down to two. Or I need them to draw one puff cap. Nope, never mind. Not going down to two. So now, so they're staying at seven. I think I'm just gonna use the blade's edge on the three one. You know, basically turning the Blade's Edge into another Chump Womp. Cool, I'll take Chump Womp. It's not bad. I smell a fight. Ugh, turn a mirror. Man, their hand really was incredible. Alright, so we have to, you know, like, not die and everything. Excuse you. I guess that means doing that.
We need to draw like decimate. Give him more mushroom clouds. Draw those puff caps. All right, come on, deck. Augmented experimenter. Decimate. Draven. Draven doesn't quite do it. All right, so we need to top deck. Mystic shot or get excited. Yeah, or or they get draw two two mushrooms. Mystic shot or get excited. What do we need? So here we go. No going back. Mystic shot, get excited. Puff caps. One, two, two. No, just one. Oh. Just one. Do not stand in my way. So close. Why not attack with this thing? Is it just? I guess it doesn't matter. It's like the the blocking doesn't matter either. Like it, it just doesn't matter. So close. One point. One point away. There was a turn earlier in that game that they... I attacked with Draven, they blocked with the 4-2, and Brittle Steeled my Draven, and then I had to get excited their, their thing to keep my Draven alive. And that turn, because they had a 4-2, I didn't attack with my 1-4 that would have dealt 2 damage to them. I would have attacked with that 1 4 that turn. And they still blocked Draven and did the whole th same thing. Like, that's that's another 3 points of damage they could have had. So I was thinking that, you know, like I had my 3 th three things. I was thinking I didn't want their 4 2 to block my 1 4. Maybe I just let that happen. Probably not, because they probably would have just blocked my 1-4, and then that 1-4 would not have been alive, and because that 1-4 attacked like another two times. So close. Oh, to like Blade's Edge, their three one before combat that one time. I don't know, man. Like their their hand was really incredible with all those uh, the three one Frostbite cards and stuff. Their hand was great. No one's the wiser. Cause I didn't, I didn't think that. Honestly, I didn't think we were gonna be losing that game, but we did. Yeah, onto Namo. Yeah, it is. I I actually like it more. I I wrote like this little uh, Google document a few weeks ago. Rec you know why I recommend this game over um, MTG Arena. You let's play this. Uh, you really don't need to spend money on this game. You can you can grind the cards much easier compared to Magic or Hearthstone, and. Uh, even starting this week, they even changed your weekly rewards, like your weekly vault. You get even more, and it's you get some uh, really great rewards every single week. But yeah, I think you should check this game out free to play uh, pretty soon um, it'll be fully released and it'll be available on mobile 
as well as <clears throat> It'll be available on, on mobile as well as PC, and it will also be, uh, you yeah, know, like we'll get new set and everything like that, new cards, pretty soon. I don't know, you know, as far as as far as I know, it's just should be in the next, you know, couple months of like the first half of you know first half of 2020. I don't know if if everything that's going on with the coronavirus is delaying anything. I, I don't know, you know, I just, I don't know if like their timetables have changed or anything. 7-5 Ash is pretty good. That's a great, that's a pretty good card. So let's see, it blocks here. Frostbite. In... Yeah, right. Yeah, right now you can play on mobile. It's available in Singapore, but some people say that there's there's something you can do if you have like an Android phone, you can get something, maybe like an APK. Yeah, if you get an APK, you can play it on mobile right now. I don't know anything about Android phones or that. Uh, so, don't quote me on anything like about that. Not getting very much damage in. I got ways to find in mushrooms. Won't get past me. Question is, can you think of any cool ways to make arena bookie work? Show me a target. I haven't so far. You're mine. Heart has not uh, really seemed to be good enough so far. Look it up and think. Look at the exact card text again. Uh, so it's yeah. So start of your round, discard your lowest cost card to draw one. Okay. Really, the so the main thing probably holding it back is three mana. Um, you know, three mana two one is pretty rough. It's basically, it's you know so so fragile. Yeah, three mana, two, one. That's really difficult. Even if it was a one, two, it would be better. So many options. I have my orders. You know, Mystic Shotting the Ash, or playing two Mushroom Clouds, or playing Saboteur and Mushroom Cloud. I, of course, want to go straight to combat, but going straight to combat does help out, help them out if, um, I wish I would have played the Mushroom Clouds first. Hmm. So basically, what I was worried about with Mystic Shot Ash is that they would just spend their other four mana and play a new Ash. But is that even bad? I should have just done that. Ooh. 
Yeah, that's that's very very good call. Yeah, like they have a five power unit, so I don't I don't want to like you know do something right now because they they have a five power unit. If they have more ashes in hand, that means more. Um, oh yeah, I forgot this thing can't even block. Forgot about that. I forgot that thing can't block. I, I definitely should have just Mystic Shot at this thing last turn. What is this? Kill a unit with three or less power? So that they're going to have to use that and they're going to have to use a Frostbite spell on it now? Alright, we'll kill the Ash. They just used an Ash's Flash Freeze. Victory requires a sharp blade. All right, we'll give him mushrooms. We draw a Teemo, Teemo's leveled up. Got 15. Wrong one drop, it's not a Teemo. Yeah, I mean, art is a art is kind of a, a personal preference type thing. I I like the art in this game. I know some people prefer the art in Arena. Um, I mean, I like the art in Arena also. I I I like them both. Um, this this is a little bit more condensed, you know, so that it can be a mobile game as well. It's just designed that way. Uh, every every card or like all the these units you can click like this full art thing and so it turns into like you know you can see like the full art with uh, with the flavor text so that's pretty cool like this legion saboteur gonna get these guys Drawing one drops, not, not ideal in this late game. We really want, you know, we really want our top ends. I'll do better this time. Oh, I keep on forgetting these things can't block. Oh, I, I keep forgetting those things can't block. Yeah, I'm, Lulu's not in the... in. She's not in the game yet. I, I'm sure I... I'm sure I threw that game away. I'm sure I... I'm sure I did not play that game correctly. Yeah, I'm I'm sure I could have done a lot better in that game. So lost lost to both the Ash decks today. It's disappointing going 0-2 against Ash. But yeah, I, I'm positive we could have done better. I, I kept forgetting that that two one couldn't block. I need to remember that. <laughs> that's that's my pup. <laughs> My puppy dog over there is just rolling around. That was that moaning that you're hearing. He's just rolling around on the carpet. Um, but anyway, 
yeah not as good not as good league this time i don't think i played perfectly we also didn't didn't really draw the best those late games that we were losing you know we just kept drawing these one drops um I'd say one card that hasn't, like, one card that I could definitely see changing is Blade's Edge. That's a card that hasn't really been, I don't, I don't think the Blade's Edge has been, has been the best. I'm not sure what to change it with. Maybe Transfusion. I think, I do think Transfusion, do you think Transfusion is pretty nice? I think I want to do that for next time. I think I want to try Transfusion and not Blade's Edge. The Blade's Edge have not been very good. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah, Lulu. Yeah, I think we've heard the Lulu, like rumors that Lulu will be in the next set. Um, yes, this... The spells don't have full art, which that's lame, but every every creature has full art, but the spells don't. I could also see playing Kempunk Pickpocket. That's the other card that I could see putting in the deck, but I think, I think Transfusion would be a nice trick. I think that'll do better than the blade's edge no not going with precious pet there's a lot of one toughness removal around it's you know like we have like teemo saboteur grenadier we already have a lot of one toughness things um but yeah playing teemo not precious pet no not going with the four mana overwhelm because so like that's that's the thing about about uh the deck that i'm playing is like i have it built like this to not have like basically i don't think those cards are good enough Precious Pet and Crowd Favorite um, and Arena Battlecaster and that that kind of burn deck. Because that kind of burn deck, um, uh, basically, like, that just goes wide and, and wins with a lot of creatures. That's what everybody's ready for these days. Um, Brood Awakening, that's the name of the card. Uh, you know, this is that basically, like, with Brood Awakening, a lot of people are playing Brood Awakening and Withering Whale and Static Shocks and, and all sorts of things that do a little bit of damage. Everybody's, like, have has a lot of removal for creatures and stuff, um, where instead we're, we're focusing a lot more on dealing damage to the Nexus. And that's what I really like about this deck. Um, hey, it's all good. Hey, good job, WQ. You're, you're a diamond right now? Good job. That's good. Yeah, House Spider is still good. Yes, House Spider is still good. It's it's also just great in aggro mirrors at blocking, and it's still two bodies. It's it's still great even without bat. You don't need Battlecaster to make this card good. Um, I do think the Transfusion would be better than the Blade's Edge. Like a lot of times, we we had those Blade's edges edges that just weren't weren't good, and this you know helps save things from removal. And Transfusion's awesome. So I think that's the one one change you need to make there. Um, this is our first time not doing very good with the deck, but I think, uh, you know, we just ran into a couple opponents running hot and me running cold and also me, uh, yeah, basically that, but <clears throat> yeah. All right. So that's burn aggro. Uh, you know, we'll play this again soon. This is still my favorite rank up deck. We just lost three of our five matches today, but it's still awesome. So we'll play this again soon. Um, this is still like the deck that I recommend ranking up. And, and of course we'll try the transfusions out next time, but those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave a comment, you know, feel free to do both of those. Um, and if you want uh, your deck played on stream, uh, for donation decks, it's just $10. Uh, the link is in the video description for the donate link. And you just, uh, put your deck code or put your deck idea of whatever you want me to build and I will do that and uh, play it on stream. All right, but that's it here for Burn Aggro. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.